You know, one of the things that we, we say to anyone who's coming into our worship community is that we are servants before we're artists. Um, I know when I was a young worship leader, I had all of these like really high expectations, like I'll never play a song that I don't believe in, and I'll never play a song where I don't like the, you know, I don't like the chord progression or the, the lyrics seem a little cheesy to me. And I, and I started learning the more and more I led worship that our church needed different things than maybe I needed. Um, and so as worshipers, as worship leaders, we are serving the needs of the church more than we're serving our own needs. And so when I say that we're servants before we're artists, we, uh, we, we're artists. We want to create beautiful things. We want to make uh, beautiful noises for the Lord. We want it to sound amazing and cool. But sometimes we might not play the song that we love. And sometimes the, the best thing that we can do is maybe even just put our guitar down and lift our hands because our church needs uh, to see what worship looks like. Um, and so an another thing I say along those lines is that we're worshipers before we're artists. And so, you know, your guitar is not your primary tool as a worship leader, your body is. And so we are able to model what worship looks like. We're able to say, uh, we give people permission, like whether we're on the stage or we're in the congregation, people are looking to us to say, this is what it looks like to come into the presence of God. And so being a worshiper before you're an artist uh, really frees yourself up to enter into the presence, uh, presence of God, but it also gives the people around you permission to do the same.